she said, I should bring my mother to the church to give her life to God. Very funny, when she don't even know who my mother is. Don't worry, my mother will come to your church, and you people will experience more confusion. I saw what you did, Melissa. Nice job, they are going to experience the confusion of their life in that church, let me see how they will go to heaven. <laughs> Good one dear, I had her saying I should come to the church. Yes, she said I should bring you to the church. Funny, I will come to the church, their church is going to experience more confusion, I will mention they hate each others. None of them will go to that heaven. Good one, I know what my queen can do. The wind of confusion has already begging in that church. Nice one. Tanya, I don't think this is going to work out perfectly. Why did you say that? Because Dave is acting very strange. I thought it is good you know this and know what to do about his issue. I don't get you. How is he acting strange? My queen, he is talking at random telling some of our friends, in the school, about the strange dream he had, and he told them, the dream keep on surfacing to him, every night he slept. Is that why you said, you don't think this will work out perfectly? Yes, Tanya. No. You don't need to bother yourself over that. Why I am worried, because some of our friends, told him to tell his parents, that he should not hide anything from his parents. I see, they told him to tell his parents? Yes. But I know, his parents are not this strong type of Christian, if not I wouldn't have be succeeded to initiate him, at the first place. You are right, don't worry tonight, I am going to blank his memory, and cause him to be heart harding he will have no sympathy for others, not even his family. So that he will stop talking. Good my queen. Mother I am going to get the items, you told me to get for you. Is all right Melissa. See you later Assam. Is all right, bye. Assam, you said your mother is always disturbing you to pray. Yes, Tanya, and I don't like it. So what do you want me to do, for you? Tanya, I want you to destroy her business, and destroy her prayer life. If not she will be an obstacle to my mission. Is this what you wanted? Yes. Is okay, it is done according to your request. I will carry out this assignment alone tonight. Is all right, let me be going. All right, see you later. Okrakoa. Okrakoa. No man shall eat and drink from this store again, the owner will not experience joy again. These are my words, and so shall it be. I was left alone here. Others is left, but I could not live. I am the one that kept you here, because I have an assignment, I went for. Now, I am here to conclude your issue. You we no longer understand what happens here, you are to destroy your family, you will bring their wealth here. Make them to wick in prayer, you are to do this. But why? This was not the assignment you gave me. You must not question my authorities. I am sorry my queen. You better be, if not you will die. Please don't kill me, I don't want to die. I declare on you from this moment, you will have no sympathy on any man again, you will hate everyone around you. Especially your family. Good. I have set you free now, go. Alright my queen. Thank you. What is wrong? Why are you crying? Please stop crying mother. Everything will be fine. Why I am crying Colin? No one is coming to my shop again, to buy anything. All my food now, is always spoiled, no one is eating again in my bar. I have not been able to pay, 
for the items that was supplied to me. I am in depth, I don't know what to do. Oh, sorry for that. Why don't you pray mother? You should have pray, and let God help you to solve your problems. You are right, but I don't even have the strength to pray. Oh sorry, don't worry ma, our God will help you, stop crying, everything will be fine. You have not seen anything, this is the beginning of your sorrow. <laughs> Honey you are back. What is wrong? Why are you so sad? Please come and sit down. What happened? I was fired today. Oh, my god. And? Why were you fired? I don't even know the reason, I was fired. My boss, called me to his office, and give me the letter of termination. He said my job is being terminated. And I asked him why, I wanted him to explain to me, what I did wrong, to warrant the sat letter. And he said, I did not do anything wrong, but is just tired of working with me. I tried to beg him, to reconsider his decision, making to understand how important the work means to me but he refuses to listen to me, and to me to use the exit door. This is very serious. How can one just wake up one morning, with the high hope of going to work, the next thing is for him being sack, without any explanation. This is strange. I think, the devil is at work. We need to do something honey, because your job is the only thing, keeping us. If you don't have a job, how do you will pay our bills? Are will now going to be begging to eat? I can see, this is what the enemies, want to do to us. They have gone to manipulate your boss, against you honey. Don't worry, please stop crying, we are not supposed to cry. Because the wicked, want to see us crying. We are not supposed to cry, because victory is for the Lord. We are going to see Pastor Ezekiel, tomorrow, at the church. Honey you need to call him, so that you pick a time from him. Is okay dear, thank you for your words, you have just brought peace to my heart. I don't need to cry, is for me to pray. Yes dear, we need to pray and find out what is going on, from Pastor Ezekiel. But, I don't think Pastor Ezekiel is back, from the program he was invited. He is back, I met Brother Thompson yesterday, and he said the Geo is back. Is alright? Thank you I need to call him later. What kind of problem is this again? How do we pay our bill? Please Lord help us out of this trouble. Sorry for that, Brother Tony. But, I cannot attend to you tomorrow. You need to try to pray alone. The enemies, are really working, to pull us down. When I came back from the program, I attended. Could you believe, I was accused of sleeping with Sister Esther? Jesus! Who accused you, of sleeping with Sister Esther? It was some of the elders and the assistant pastor. Pastor John? Yes. They said, because I am sleeping with Sister Esther, this is why I always take her to every program, I attended. This is serious. Sorry for that sir. Don't worry brother Tony, the God whom I serve will defeat my enemies. I will come to your house when I am done with this issue. But, start praying, with your family, we must seek God for his help. Alright sir, thank you very much. Thank you brother Tony, for calling God bless you. Thank you sir, bye. Bye. This is really serious. How can the elders and Pastor John accuse the Geo for sleeping with Sister Esther? Where did they get such information from? I don't really know. It is very strange. I can see the enemies, is really at work. Just imagine, the confusion they have set in the midst of the leaders. I can see their mission is to destroy God church. Because if they succeeded in stirring confusion in the heart of the brethren, how can the church of God move forward? You are right dear, because Pastor Ezekiel I know, we not do such a thing. The enemies is just trying to destroy the man, and destroy the work of God in his hand. They want to frustrate him but the God we serve, will defend his servant. We need to start praying, Pastor Ezekiel promised to come to us, 
when he is done with this issues. Is all right, I can't wait to see him. Let me get Dave, he needs to join us to pray. Is okay. Dave please come and join us to pray, we need to seek the face of God. Because the enemies is at work, your father was fired today, for just no reason. This is the reason, we are praying. Mother I am not interested in your prayer. You can pray without me. Dave what did you just say? Are you sure you are alright? Mother stop, disturbing me. Oh my god. This is not Dave. What is going on? What has come over this boy? Please stop shouting in my room, and live. Nothing has come over me. It is not a force to pray. No. This is not Dave, something is wrong somewhere. My son I know, has never speak to me in this manner. Oh God, what has happened to Dave? Dave please, come let's pray together, you are behaving strange. Mother please, leave me alone, I don't want to pray. I will pray, when I am ready. Is all right. What happened? Where is him? Honey Dave is acting very rude. What do you mean, he's acting very rude? I told Dave to come and join us in prayer, his response is insulting to me. He told me, he don't have interest in our prayer, that I should stop disturbing him. He even tell me to live his room, that he will pray, when he is ready. Are you serious? Dave say that to you. This is what he said, and he is very angry. No. I must deal with him, he don't have that right in my house. No honey, live him, tomorrow you can take care of his attitude, let's pray, I can see, this is the trick of the enemies, in order to distract our prayer. Just live him for now. You are right, let's pray. Dave parents went ahead to pray, they do not give room to the enemies, when you are in the middle of prayer, and distraction come, do all to overcome the wicked, thank you for watching, as the story continue. And we encourage you to join us, with the International Director, Pastor Paul Ricca in Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide, where the undiluted messages preach, messages that will change your life, messages that will prepare you for heaven, if your go is to make it to heaven, join this last day's movement of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, before His final coming in the Rapture, Holiness Revival Movement Headquarters, is behind Federal Government College, Kuali FC Tiabuya, Nigeria. Come, Jesus is waiting for you. Please subscribe like share and leave a comment. God bless you.